Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today we are doing another Android tutorial video. And this is part of our weekly series on coding. Now as far as this particular video, we're going to get into how to start your application. This is going to purely be how to start a brand new project on Android Studio. So keep that one in mind. Now I'm assuming that you've seen my previous videos on what is Android about as far as the introduction and also how to set up Android Studio. It's very important that you go through that if you haven't already. But if you haven't, feel free to go there. I'll have a card to that, to the previous video to set up this and also feel free to subscribe. So as far as this goes, assuming that you're here, what you need to do is click on start a new Android Studio project and you have, will have application name. Application name is what's going to show up on Google Play Store where your application will be sold and traded given that you put it on Google Play Store, which is Google's market. Or better yet, this will be what it looks like on the device. Now, as far as the name itself, you can change things. However, the it's, it's better to get it right now before you move on because it's, it's a little bit difficult to change the name at this time. Now, as far as the name, I'm just going to name this Simple App. Simply as that. The application name can only consist of letters, numbers, spaces, or underscores. Now, as far as the company domain, this is your website. So, or if you have a website, you put it within here. If you don't have a website or if you're not part of an organization, you can put your own name here. Keep in mind that you may have to change this around depending on what current applications is out there. So it's best to use a domain name that you own if you own a website. If you don't, it might be a good idea to get a website. Notice that the package name matches the company domain and also the application name. Now, if you need to change the package name for whatever reason, you can simply go to edit and change that. Just make sure you don't use any capital letters, otherwise you're going to run into some problems. Now, as far as the package name, to reiterate it, it's basically a match on Google Play Store, so you don't have two applications of the same type. So for example, if I make an application that does something that a lot of people like, someone else cannot re-upload that same application. And also, this makes it where the package name is unique per thing. And the application name is linked to the package name. It's very important to realize this, especially when you're uploading it to the Google Play Store. And keep in mind, you can change the package name later on if you need to, but it's a real pain to do so. So it's best to get things right right now, again, while you probably want to use your own domain. Now, as far as the project location, the project location is pretty simple. Basically, this is where your project's going to be saved at. So make sure that's right. But one thing I want to add here is if you are going to do this either for a living or every now and then, I advise you to find ways to back up this. So put it in locations that back up. For example, use GitHub. That's a huge thing. You already got it. You have to use it for getting jobs and uh, in jobs itself. So use GitHub. But if you don't want to use that, use other things like Google Drive, Dropbox, something, even if it's a personal backup. Because I personally learned this the hard way. I lost at least six months, maybe more, of pure coding 
and uh, that that wasn't backing up to uh, get up, that I wasn't backing up to anything and I had to rebuild everything I'd done and that means some projects I was working on I had to tell people oh sorry I can't do it because I lost everything so it's very important to do this because keep in mind the amount of time that you spend on some of these projects is very long and if you're losing six months of stuff yeah it could make you feel like you're this is not might not be for you so to prevent that from all happening you need to just simply put it somewhere where you can back it up like get up so let's go to next now you will see where you need to pick what type of device you should code for and also the api level or the android level so as far as the phone or device that you're going to code for phone and tablets are considered as the same thing and the going down you got where which is at this time mostly watches in fact i think it's purely watches at this time then you have tv android auto and glass personally this is personal personally i'll say stay away from android tv and glass the reason why i say stay away from android tv is it's really a flop and the reason why is simply google doesn't market the tv at all like they market it for a couple weeks when their new device comes out and that's it and they don't really market it that well like i might see three commercials in a month and that's literally it so yeah now as far as that goes feel free to still develop for it if you have one or whatever but i warn you for glass the reason why i say stay away from it is google pretty much announced that that the google glass is dead it might be revived but there's also a lot of regulations and stuff coming out there and a lot of people that just says that this is the ways and i don't know why because i personally never had one or never even seen one but for the most part i can tell you that right now due to the lack of people using it and also regulations that's coming out and google pretty much saying that this is a dead project i would say stay away from that for now until things turn around android auto might be worthwhile it's a very new concept they aren't advertising it but it's also very 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 new and i imagine that's going to take off if automakers partner with google if they don't then i i don't know i don't know if it'll be worthwhile keep in mind you need to put in a liability disclaimer within your android auto apps something that's not going to be automatically in the app so you don't end up getting sued because someone's paying attention to your app more than a road so with the phone and tablet and these are things you got to think of by the way it's very important to realize that but with the phone and tablet this is where your primary use is going to be or at least i figure most people primary use is going to be that or the where and with this here you can select the device type and then you can go and select your android level now right now i want to mention that i advise you to go to help me choose click that and what this does is this will let you know what each level does what each api level or android version does and it's very important to note that they said for example if we go to the first one we can pretty much use a 2.3 android level application on the android 6.0 phone or tablet unless if the api level comes in play 
it's very important to note that 90 some odd percent of applications that you're going to make or be around is going to be around that where it's going to use basic functionality or use functionality that was never dropped off and it's still continuing to be developed with the newer API levels and if something is dropped off then things may go to iffy so for example if we go to gingerbread and the android version 2.3 and if we go all the way down to kitkat you can see they added a lot more you can go between each one of these and see what they added now there might be some functionality that may be dropped between versions and this is what I'm talking about with the API levels. That's the only time that it really comes in play for the API levels besides the uh, when you're changing the number. So let's go into here and let's pick um, Android 2.3.3. So with this, you'll get a by target API and later your app will run on approximately whatever percentage. So you have it down here 90 some odd percent. Let's go all the way down to six and you say less than 1% of phones with have Android 6.0. Same thing with 5.1 and 23.7% of phones out there that are connected to Google Play Store have Android 5.0 so this this also lets you know how many devices you're sending your app to keep in mind as Google updates their stuff and prices go lower and more people get newer stuff the um, more people will come in here and that number will increase but you also do limit yourself a bit so I'm just gonna go back down to 2.3.3 and we're going to go to next and let's say that I made a mistake or whatever but then here I, I said oh I wanted a higher level simply go previous and go back and, and do it right here it's easier to do it right here than go through the steps but it's not that bad it's not that bad at all to increase the Android level and it, it shouldn't be that bad because you're going to do this in updates. So with this page, you need to select the type of activity you need. And basically what they have here is some of the most common activities or things that you're going to be using in Android. And this just basically makes it a lot easier and say you have to program each and everything and going through it you can just simply use their thing and it gives you a starting point however you don't have to and because of this what we're going to do is go to empty activity especially for this simple application and we're going to click next now with this I normally don't rename this but basically this is your main activity and you can name it whatever you want just make sure it matches with whatever the main activity the core is supposed to do and, um, and go from there I, I'm just going to keep it as is because again I don't really change it now one thing I want to add in here before we move on is if you change this things will change as you see down below in the layout so if i want to change it then there we go but again like i said i don't i don't see the point of it click finish and let it build this could take a few seconds but just let it build now in case if you didn't catch my previous video I already have a few things set up within here and that's why the look may be different from yours and if you don't know how to change that you do need to let this build up but go to settings 
probably go into file and go down to settings and you want to go to appearance and go to theme and go to Dracula it's that simple and click apply once you're um, you selected that now what you have here is a full-fledged activity in a full-fledged application but it's just the shell you can run it in fact you can even download it on your phone but it's just a hello world share so as I mentioned before if you already have this up and you want to start a new project go to file go new and go new project and you get the same interface as we have before but anyways it's been Craig Bent founder on tech be snope and please feel free to let me know what you think about this video because I highly value your opinions and also let me know your questions feel free to check out our other videos and we will have another video out in a couple days if not at least next week have a great day